I'm going to show you how to make an essay question and mark it. You need to go to your question bank via administrational settings and then create a new question. Choose essay. Now this is a non-automatically marked question. You have to mark it yourself. So let's make up the question first. Um, I'll put a, a just a quick question here and type it all in. Uh, I'm, I'm copying it and also putting it in as the question name so I recognize this question later and I'm going to make it out of eight. I'm looking for eight points from the student. Now here we've got a part where I've got a, re a response template so if I want to give the student some hints I could in the response template and then down here information for graders if I'm um, grading this later or if someone else is grading it I put in here the assessment criteria maybe even a rubric or a table if I've got that there. Uh, or an image. And then um, I can preview what it looks like. Here it is, pretty straightforward, just a, a text box for the students to fill in the answers. And um, once they submit their answers as a teacher, I can go in and mark it. So to do that, I would uh, first open up the quiz, and you can see there's been one attempt. And I go up here to the administration or settings block and I go to um, dum, dum, results and down to manual grading. And in there I can click on grade all and you can see I've got here the answer from the, the question, the answer from the student and my marking criteria is there as well. And that's handy because if I've got a list of criteria, I can copy them and paste them into the comment box and then you know put the, the mark that the student has achieved next to it. Um, it's really up to however you go about marking, but that's just a, a nice, quick and easy way to do it. And then I have to assign an overall mark um, for what the, the actual thing was out of. So let's just say they got half marks and save it. So then the student, if they go back and look at the quiz at a later time, they'll see that it's been marked and they can review what the um, teacher has written. And you can see where I put in that uh, bit about the marking criteria and the mark that they got. So I hope that's been helpful. If you'd like to learn more about other Moodle questions, um, you could click on one of my links and uh, happy Moodling.